すぐに終わらせられただろうに正親様もアリサ様も大変ご立派だったと思いますが綾乃はい分かってない分かってないよ不敵に余裕たっぷりに何だったら目元に影も加えて村に上から目線で評価を下すこれは強キャラ感を演出する重大な要素なんだよ All right, we're talking today about Aaliyah hides her feelings. This was episode number eight. This was the big debate. Uh, this was a fantastic episode. I think, you know, as we dive deeper into Aaliyah, we get to see more of、uh, Kuze's backstory. And, you know, I did not shy away last week from sharing with you guys. Like, I think the whole divorced parents and hiding their name because they're scared of grandpa or whatever, I think it's, it's just a really, really dumb. Story beat, you know, and I understand maybe the author was like, Yo, this is <laughs> he's like, Yo, this is it, ba -ba 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 -ba. yo, grandpapa. He probably went like,、uh, he probably licked the tip of the pen, too. <laughs> ah, there it is, really, he's probably typing on the keyboard, but you know what I mean. Like, I think it's just a really stupid storyline, but regardless, it is what it is, I can't change it, it's just my opinion. Uh, but regard this episode, we we're able to see more of Kuze's backstory with Yuki. We're able to see how、uh, the girl who brought up the big debate was, you know, really just jealous of Kuze and Yuki. And I guess she kind of looked at, looked at them kind of like role models or something. Like, I imagine, like, if you were to go up against, you know, somebody and they just utterly destroyed you, but you weren't a person to get in your feelings about being destroyed, you kind of like looked up to them. Like, you, they, they not only outshow me, but they did it in such a way. Like, I can understand that kind of like, um, There's a specific word for it, but like you look, you're looking up to them, like you're like, you know, admiring them. And that's kind of what this crazy girl kind of did is she, she built some narrative in her head that Kuze and Yuki were this inseparable duo. And even though that this girl has aspirations to be in student council, she's not in student council. She hasn't applied to be in student council, but she still wants to go be the next president of student council, which doesn't make any sense at all. Cause like if I were to, Let's say I was in student council in middle school, or whatever, and then I go into high school and I continue to have aspirations. It's like the first thing I'm going to do as I get into high school, just like when you go join photo club or,、uh, you know, the football team or whatever, like, I'm going to go join、uh, student council. But this girl hasn't done that. So, whatever. But, you know, we, we got to see more of Kuze's backstory. We got to see more of what's, what was driving this kind of crazy girl to come and debate、uh, Aaliyah. And what she was really coming after, which Kuze knew、uh, from the beginning, Yuki knew from the beginning, because you, even Yuki told us later on in the episode, like, my brother could have shut this down, like, a long time ago, but he let this happen.、Uh, she came after Aaliyah to get to Kuze. And, you know, the, by watching the happenstance of what ended up happening, Kuze allowed it because Aaliyah needs to put herself in a position to where she is being outspoken, to where she is talking to、uh, the grander、uh, student, you know, body. To where she is putting herself up out there, to where more people are knowing that she's not afraid to come and talk. So, Kuze made a very strategic move. And then he also made a really strategic move when Aaliyah went and was failing. You know, she was about to just, you know, like, you know, crumble under anxiety.、Uh, he was able to come in and <laughs> he was able to pull her and put his cape on and save the day. And he really just told all of a sudden, body, like, why are we even here? Like, this, this thing that we're debating is just silly, right? And everyone's like, oh, yeah, I guess it is.、Uh, and that pretty much just shut it down. And then after, you know, Kuze and Aliyah shared a really cool moment when they were talking about, like, why'd you choose me? Why did you choose me? I used Google Translate on, on the screen. And apparently, Aliyah said, because it's you. And Kuze basically said in a very long winded way, That he was with Yuki before because he felt guilty and we got that whole backstory. But he's with Aaliyah now because it's, of, it's what he wants to do. He wants to be with her. He wants to run with her. He wants to be her vice president. He wants to be her running mate. He wants to do this before he did,、uh, you know, he did the VP stuff out of guilt, out of necessity, he felt to his sister.、Uh, and I really, I really have, I really still take a lot of, I still hate. That he hasn't told Aaliyah that that's his sister. Like, if you need to hide it for whatever stupid ass reason, okay, do that. But tell her and just be like, hey, keep your mouth shut. If she's that important to you, that'd be like telling your, that'd be like keeping a secret, like a, a familial member of your future wife away from her because reasons. It's like if you trust her that much, if she's the girl, if she's the, your future girl, if she's the girl you're, you know, whatever, if she's the girl you catch your feelings for, whatever, like, yo, you tell her. And just tell her to keep it tight lipped. You know what I mean? If it's that big of a deal. 
So I still take problem with that. Uh, outside of that, good humor this episode. I like the double D, double D, double D, double E attack, you know, when he talked about, you know, the big old biddies. Um, I think we all underestimate, though, including Kuze, how big E's, because, you know, she doesn't have D. She, apparently, she has borderline E's. Those are some big old biddies, okay? Like, Ali doesn't, you know, the way that the artist has her depicted doesn't depict her with big old E's. E's are ginormous. I don't know if you guys... Whether you're my female audience and maybe you have have them or have a friend. Uh, if you're my male audience, I don't know if you've ever, you know, had a friend, you know, a girlfriend or something, you know, who has ease. But if you ever see them in real life, they are large. Uh, and I just don't quite think Aaliyah has that. Uh, but she says she does. So, I mean, hey, maybe she's, you know, tightened up, you know, the the meatsicles. The meat Whatever, but uh, that was it was a funny moment, and I like how at the end of the episode, Aaliyah brought it up again, and she was like, yo, what was up with that? He's like, yo, I heard a rumor, you know, so I thought that was a really funny moment, but overall, episode eight, really good episode, Aaliyah hides her feelings, um, the debate itself, useless, pointless, girl ended up quitting anyways, uh, these debates, in my mind, shouldn't really even happen toward and, until the end of the school year when they're getting ready to elect a new president for the upcoming year. But regardless, it happened and it is what it is. But uh, yeah, good humor, good episode, decent backstory, and at least we knew what was driving the crazy girl. And if anything, this just drove Aaliyah and Kuze to be closer uh, as they are, you know, going on their next venture. So yeah. Good episode overall, and uh, like everything else, I'll see you guys next week. Uh, FYI, I'm on vacation next week, so there is a chance that this episode, next week's episode, I might be a day late on it. Uh, just depends, because Wednesday's the day I get back from my vacation. Uh, next week, and that's where that's the days that Aaliyah launches, so there might be a chance that you might be watching episode 9 review, uh, if you'd be so kind, maybe a little later in the week, Thursday or Friday. All right, my friends, I'll see you then. When I see you, stay up. Have a great week. Peace out.